Often, part of the publishing and public review process takes being online, and increasingly users want to incorporate drawing data into a web map as they would do with other GIS data. I mean, after all, DWGs are probably the most commonly used data file type in AutoCAD Map 3D. Previously, publishing DWGs to the web meant that DWG was converted to either SDF or DWF. When they were converted to SDF, the styling was lost, but the GIS attributes were preserved. When they were converted to DWF, the styling was preserved, but the GIS attributes were lost. It was very difficult to get the best of both worlds. With AutoCAD Map 3D 2013 and Autodesk Infrastructure Map Server 2013, you're able to publish native DWGs to the web. There's no data conversion, and both data and styles are preserved. Native AutoCAD entities, Map 3D object data, and FDO data are all published together in one single round, so there's no need to have separate publishing steps. And the publishing function is available in both AutoCAD Map 3D and Autodesk Infrastructure Studio with a consistent user interface, so you're able to specify which layer to publish, whether to publish any map object data, or whether to use filters to publish only certain pieces of the DWG. In fact, probably the only difference is that you'd use AutoCAD Map 3D to publish a single DWG, whereas if you wanted to publish multiple DWGs to a single map definition, you would use Infrastructure Studio. So this really does help you make better use of DWG data.